Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we're taking a look at the third and at the time final movie in the Indiana Jones franchise. Of course, we have two more movies that came since then. But yeah, for a while it was the final uh, movie. The third one was the final one. And it's Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, which is a lot of fun. I think the first one is still the best, but this one is a pretty close second. So it came out in 1989, five years after the second movie. Uh, and after the negative uh, reception to some of the bullcrap that you see in uh, the Temple of Doom, uh, Harrison Ford returns. Uh, his father, Henry Henry Jones Jr., or Professor Henry Jones Jr., Doctor Henry Jones Jr. Senior, sorry, is played by John Connery. And the fact that they won't make a really fun father and son pair. <laughs> John Connery is hilarious in this film. You also have River Phoenix, the late great River Phoenix, acting uh, with a small role as the young, uh, basically as a teenage uh, Indiana Jones. Found out how that he got the whip and the and the uh, cap uh, and the hat, basically from uh, some raiders uh, or uh, something, <laughs> some mercenaries, basically. Uh, you also have Alison Doody who plays the uh, female interest. Love interest, Dan Hoop, Elliot, Julie Grover, and John Reese Davis is running as Sala. So basically, uh, the uh, the father, and Jones Jew Senior, has been kidnapped by and held hostage by the Nazis uh, because they want to find the Holy Grail. <sighs> yeah, a lot of Christian symbolism, a lot of Christian mythologies is in these movies. Um, anyway. So he is captured. Uh, the uh, uh, the uh, I think he's American or maybe British. Walter Donovan, who is a financial backer, uh, who had helped uh, Henry Senior to try and find the Holy Grail, uh, now asks Indy to go and find his father as as well as the Holy Grail. So we're armed with the diary that uh, Henry had, uh, his father had. He's trying to find his father. He, uh, along with Dr. Marcus Bodhi, goes to Venice and they meet up with um, in, uh, his father's uh, associate, Elsa Schneider, who was actually helping her, helping him, sorry, to decipher some of the, uh, uh, the clues to the, to the Holy Grail. And they discover this uh, underground catacomb, which is uh, disgusting, totally uh, where uh, under a library where Henry was last seen. They go to uh, they go and find the shield and they go to a place called Is Iskin Iskinder and there they are attacked by the brotherhood of the uh, 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 sorry before that they are they they are attacked by the brother of the cruciform sword who are a team of uh, people who are dedicated to uh, protecting the uh, holy grail and the secrets of it uh, and the group leader is played very very Nostalgic uh, reasons for me because it's played, Kasim is played by the uh, Turkish British actor, uh, one second, Kevork Malik, uh, Malkian, who I have absolutely loved in one of my favorite television shows of all time. In fact, the first, first or yeah, probably the first uh, sitcom that I ever used to watch, which was Mind Your Language. And he played Maximilian Papandros from Mind Your Language. He, was, he plays Greek. Uh, a Greek guy basically living in the UK and it's lovely to see him. Uh, a lot of people who have, loved, who have watched Mind Your Language uh, may not recognize him immediately because of the mustache but then once he starts speaking of course yeah that doubt comes in and then yeah it's basically him. Um, so uh, from there they go to uh, uh, Iskander, sorry, Iskenderan. Uh, they meet uh, Sala and uh, they they uh, have to go to uh, Austria where they find the, uh, there's a castle where, Castle Brunwald, where, is, where Henry is actually being held. And it's under Nazi control, so they infiltrate him. Uh, he tries to rescue his dad, but then they find out that Schneider, uh, who had just slept with uh, Indy, <laughs> is actually a Nazi collaborator and uh, she, 
dupes him to get the diary to the uh, Nazi leader. Uh, what's his name, though? Uh, oh uh, uh, Michael Bird. Michael Bird. So, uh, yeah, and the funny thing is, we find out that uh, Indy also, my, uh, sorry, Indy's dad also probably slept with her as well. And uh, although she does seem to have a little feeling for, some feelings for Indy, she's still dedicated to the Nazis. Uh, they manage to get, there's a lot of escaping and, you know, there's a bike chase, they go on a zeppelin and a plane and all that stuff. And yeah, uh, uh, Sean Connery <laughs> doing that uh, with the, the umbrella, chasing a lot of pigeons or whatever the, whatever birds they were onto the, uh, the rushing plane in which the Nazi is and destroying that. That was really fun to see. And uh, they finally reach the uh, the deserted area in Hatay, I believe. And they try to use the map and they, they are, along with the Nazis who capture them, they go and, and they find this uh, holy grail. Uh, the Nazis basically shoot uh, Henry Senior to, you know, to, uh, to make sure that there is a, uh, an urgency in which Indy is supposed to try and find the grail and he does uh, using uh, clues from the diary that's written in the diary he finds this uh, room with many cups and an ancient knight who has been because the holy grail is supposed to give you uh, long life almost immortality and anybody who's uh, dying can be rescued from it so uh, the uh, the Nazis basically find this uh, Schneider is basically one who selects a really beautiful uh, gold encrusted cup and uh, Donovan drinks from it but he dies immediately aging very badly while Schneider screams. Uh, Indy takes the most simplest cup and uh, the knight basically tells him that's, that's the one you've chosen wisely. Uh, he takes the waters uh, from there and uh, basically like a fountain of youth kind of thing and if he drinks, uh, makes uh, head, uh, his father Henry drink it and he is saved. And of course he pours some of the wood as well. Uh, so, the Nazis, along with Schneider, tried to escape with the Grail, but the the uh, the uh, the ancient knight actually didn't want if you try to take the uh, the Grail away from the uh, you know past the seal in the in these catacombs uh, or whatever they are whatever they were it will be catastrophic. So she does, and it triggers the temple's collapse, and uh, you know the ground basically gives away beneath them. It starts to collapse onto itself, and she uh, tried to save the Grail. Uh, she dies. Uh, Indy also tries to save the grail, but his father tells him to let it go, and then they manage to escape. The four of them, which is uh, Indy, his father Henry, uh, uh, Marcus Brody, and uh, Salah, they manage to escape. That's the end of the movie. Uh, it's a it's a lot of fun to watch. Of course, uh, I think I give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. Really good movie. <laughs> um, and I don't understand why they didn't make more until 2008. This came out 1989. There, were, there was plenty of time to make two, maybe even three movies in between. Uh, that's a sadness. Uh, so, yeah, they should have made, I think, a few more. Um, anyway, that's it for uh, Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. Catch you soon in another movie review. Coming up soon. Good night.